wallet weekends we're going to be covering the market how people are trying to make coins right now and every little thing really when it comes to the market first up though your legends offensively tony gonzalez and with the titans we've gotten this week he just really isn't up there with Taysom hill and even zach Ertz. i would say demarcus Ware, your defensive legend 95 overall a solid solid pass rusher but it's not like we're lacking in those really but your ltd the best card of this drop on i am surprised they made this card the ltd considering there are tvps available marvin harrison the first 95 speed receiver in the game uh yeah he's definitely gonna be a top three receiver now with that speed your discount abilities nothing too crazy right short and elite for one ap mid and elite for zero ap demarcus square zero ap ripper is nothing special edge threat for one ap is you know pretty solid but yeah those are your discount abilities let's get into the video so we're now into the second week and we're heading into the second weekend of zero chill really feels like zero chill has just started now with presence being available to be re-rolled uh, yeah it just feels like the start of zero chill the first thing though i am going to talk about the new content you could say today to madden 23 is these legendary or i would say new team bundles you have the big bundle which is going to give you 100k coins like some training and you're going to have your choice of like one offense as well as one defensive bundle but if i actually go through and show off all the different team bundles you're going to see there's a combination right of offensive defensive players you get 293 overall and all the cards are ncat or bnd but it does affect the market since people are going to replace these bnds with the optional cards in their lineup thus selling them you're going to see a lot of aka players remember that brian dawkins michael mike singletary howie long cj 2k ocho cinco so with that being said and you can see those 93 overall aka players well people are gonna want to power those up and they're gonna need the baby pieces of some of these cards so you can see howie long 90 overall he's up to around 75 to 80k cj2k seems to be very rare on the market he's going for around 125k ocho cinco has been the main one that i have in my binder and i've been selling today somewhere around the 80 75k 80 85k mark and if you go all the way down mike singletary is even going for 75k to 80k but the most expensive one is definitely brian dawkins he's been going for around 125k today these are the 90s facts you go over to the 85 overalls they're actually going for around 25k you have the 85 overall brian dawkins cj2k howie long ocho cinco mike singletary yeah 85 overalls which what are normally going for 7 8 to 9k going upwards of 25k if you want to there is the 85 overall aka set in the well, sets and it's going to be i think it's 480 overalls and 382 overalls which isn't that bad the set's going to run you a little bit under 15,000 coins and you get a card that goes for 25k so if you want to spam that these 85 overall aka's are probably only going to be 25k and relevant i'd say for the next 24 hours so if you have low overall if you have pack junk binder junk 80 overall 82 you know the 85 aka pack doesn't look too bad uh, to liquidate those coins and as always it's not going to be a market video i know i'm going to sound repetitive sound like a broken record but team builders are always going to be the most consistent way to make coins especially as a low budget i really recommend this for people that want to actively make coins we always talk about investing right buying cards wing a few days kind of like making passive coins not really even put too much effort into it but if you want to be active on the market and make coins right in the now or you have less than 500k you have less than a mil you want to grind some coins get some coins for presents i would say team builders is your best bet 84 overall or 88 overall you're gonna make somewhere around 5 to 10k after tax now they don't sell instantly but i like to listen for 12 hours and while they'll sell go ahead play some solo challenges play some head-to-head -head, roll some presents actually go out and buy eventually the 84 overall for 8k it seems like a pretty good deal to me i think it's jk dobbins but yeah team builders they're always gonna be there it's just a matter of do you want to put the time and effort into you know grinding out these sets and making the coins in a little bit of a slower process finally getting into the training market because there has been some effects i would say when it comes to the legendary team packs being in the store first up 92 overalls are still at around 160k which is really really good but 93 overalls especially with you getting two bnd 93 overalls in each team pack you're gonna see 93 overalls unfiltered are down to about 220k down from around 230k last night if we go to the 90 overalls 
they're a little bit down. This is like the weird part about it because the 90 overalls, if you actually go and filter down into zero chill, snowball aka's the 90 overalls are still going for 60,000 coins but they're only going for 67.5 68 they're creeping up i'm i'm being really patient i would say with my 90 overalls however 91 overalls are actually going for around 99 to 100 case so they're going for the same ratio unfiltered that 90 overalls are going for and really i am prioritizing my 91 overall sales at the current moment 88s 89s they're really more so i planned on always quick selling those 88 overalls have been consistently 30,000 coins. 89 overalls are probably the cheapest high overall when it comes to the unfiltered price, only being around 42, 43k, which is almost in the low, I think it is in the low sixes, maybe in the high fives, you would say for 89 overalls. So definitely look to quick sell 89 overalls if you're planning to roll. One thing I actually am doing, this really will only uh, go into play if you're watching this video on Friday afternoon. I am actually holding pretty much every single legend, legend training investment in my binder, and I'm not selling them today. The reason be, uh, the legend token does become available you're able to get that you know free full legend from completing all the solo challenges throughout the year and you never really know when it comes to you know when we saw the aka player become available in solos a lot of the 90 overall aka players really spiked in price and now i know we are getting legend saturday pack uh saturday legend packs but you never know like certain overalls might jump up in price certain players like i have 91 earl campbell sitting in my binder maybe if a lot of people get that 95 earl campbell they might need the 91 thus spiking it up in price at least for the first few hours while people because that's the first thing they're going to do complete the solo challenge see who they're going to get for free and then probably power them up accordingly so that is one thing i am doing not really selling legends but overall today and overall, in terms of training investments, you already see I'm back up to 30,000 coins. So I've sold off a lot of my training investments, but I still have quite a lot. And I am being very, very patient when it comes to selling uh, my trading. One thing I will say is I don't know if we're going to get that 75% off bundle like we got last weekend. Because we got these legendary starter team bundles, I feel like that is the featured pack EA is going to try to promote, at least for this weekend. Maybe we see a pack on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday of next week. Now, honestly, I hope we do get a bundle like that because I would love to throw another 15, 20 mil into training at the low fives, but I just don't think we're going to see it. So I'm being super, super patient when it comes to selling like my 90 overalls, my 91 overalls. I don't have any 92s left. I have a few 93s, but... I still have a bunch of training, but I'm being very patient. Right now, I am targeting selling off these 91 overalls for around 100,000 coins because I feel like that is a great price for them, especially with 90 overalls only going for 6.7, 6.8. If I'm able to sell my odd overalls at that same ratio, I feel comfortable. They're not always selling at 100K, but you know, five to seven of them will sell if I list 20. But again, not really forced. I don't feel pressed to sell my training, especially with how good present rerolls have been i could always just roll presents with the remainder of my training like seriously i don't i don't hate that idea the other thing is we have ghosts coming early early next week and that might see a training spike we don't know how they're gonna do right there might be sets there might be rerolls who knows when it comes to the ghosts but you can always you know, potentially see another spike in training it definitely hurts uh the big thing was like i personally think if presents were not able to be quick sold i do think we would have seen training you know, upwards of 7.2, 7.3, 7.4. But since the reroll uh, returns around a 90 to 95% rate on training, people can buy 300,000 trading. If they want to, they can just quick sell presents and really reroll uh, forever. So they don't really, the demand for training, people are not running out of training at the current moment, which of course leads to not much demand. Now we might see a little demand spike tomorrow with Marvin Harrison being in TVPs. That's something to keep our eye on. But Overall, training right now isn't in. It's still training is like the best thing to have in your binder, but the actual demand and buying rate of training isn't super high considering people are just, you know, quick selling their presents if they want to roll some more. Maybe once we get closer to Christmas and people start to run out of training and they're, one, they're going to want to keep the presents in their binder, then they might spend that extra little coins they have and start buying training. Ghosts, I think, really. Uh, could see a spike in training but yeah in, in general right like i'm trying to sell 6.7 to 7 per if i don't get that number i'll probably just end up putting it in training or not putting in training putting it in presence or rolling some ghosts uh down the line but that's all for this video comment if you have any questions like if you have enjoyed subscribe if you are new be on the lookout tomorrow i'm gonna release the first iteration first variation of my present 
predictions to give you guys a you know an estimated overall value of each present depending on if you want to quick select when you roll yada 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 but again comment if you have any questions like if you have enjoyed subscribe if you are new and until next time peace